I come from the Sahara Professional Service. And what, what, does your, what are some of the responsibilities of your position? My responsibility in the, in, in the cohesion of service, I am a manager for the technical and industry, which combines the skills training to train the inmates and take care of the officers. Have you attended any of the localization workshops? Yes, because I have attended the Women's Forum workshop twice. And what, what kind of things did they cover? Well, we debate on this same 1820 and 1825, and then when we started the program. And are you are you implementing any of these resolutions in the Sierra Leone National Action Plan in your work? Yes. How exactly have you put it in place? What kind of action have you taken, either in your job or your personal? Like as for me, I always go counseling to the inmates, advise the inmates, because some of the inmates got in there in the prison. Because of some of them, their husband take them to the prison, some of them dead. So I advise them that you have to put things in place, you have to do so, you have to do so, so that you can't go there next time to repeat the thing. And then the customer in marriage. The customer in marriage, I advise some of my relatives that when you got married to a man or a woman, you have to do so, you don't have to do so. So I learned so many things with this in 1325 and 1820. Have you seen any actions being taken against gender-based violence? Yes, 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 so many. Yes. And because even now we have so many women, the violence of men, the kids, the, the strangle, the, 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 the children, the female children. So this training makes now Sierra Leone plant, we have plant, we said that this is right and this is wrong. Then we even able to talk to some of the leaders in the country because we when we come to this workshop and we learn so many things so we take it and do part and then take it to some of our friends, relatives, even our officers. Have you seen any changes in the past? Yes we have seen changes now because since before there was no changes, but now when they started the workshop, started training to train the women, we have seen changes because when they train us, we take it to them, and then we implement the training, and then we started seeing the changes. What kind of changes? Well, since before, there were no action taken by the men when they raped or they when they raped. But now we have action. When you rape a, 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 a woman, a child, they take you to the to court and then they send you to the Padema for punishment so that you cannot do it again or to the correctional center. And have, has that happened now? Have you seen men being taken, being punished? Yes, yes. And before there were none? Yeah, before that, even the woman cannot be able to speak to say that they raped me. But now, they are able to talk about yeah. The chiefs, the councillors, yeah. and even spread the news, a message, so that they can take it in a good part. What would you need as as a as working in the correctional to what could they give you to help you implement these resolutions? They can give us the manpower 
because if you don't have a man, you cannot even do anything. Counseling, routine, normally we talk to them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Before, they, before they go outside, mm -hmm. when they are jail finish. Mm -hmm. We and normally do, we even do skills training with them. Mm -hmm. I have a skills training center. Mm -hmm. Normally do sewing, they are dressing, so that then we have the hand in skin. We show them so that when they go outside, they not repeat it again. And the, the, the people who are in the correctional facility, what are some of the typical crimes that they've committed to, to be placed there? Women commit death, okay. wounding guidelines, and then some of them murder, commit murder. Okay. And are these the same? How long have you been working in the correctional facility? About 25 years. Okay. And have you seen a difference in the crimes that have been committed? Yes. What, what crimes were being committed maybe five years ago or ten years ago? How are they different? Normally, the women they commit deaths, the deaths. Okay. They go and talk, and then they lose paper. So we okay. take them to the places. Okay. Even before? Yes. So would you say there's more debts now or more debts in the past? More debts now. Now. Why do you think that's the case? Well, some of the women don't have to be loved by themselves, unless they go and take the loan to the microcredit. And then when they take microcredit, they're not even able to pay back. Because some of the women use the money for their children to pay school fees, to buy clothes, so they're not able to pay the money back. Okay. So when yes, so they will come to them, take them to the police, and then the police will charge them. Okay. Take them to the court, and then some of them will not have the money, so they can send them to the police for punishment. Okay. Do you, so do you think if they had, if they didn't have the issue of school fees, like, yes, they wouldn't? They wouldn't tell them to do these things. They would be able to man, to earn something so that they can, yeah. if they cannot repeat it again. Yeah. So the skills training <laughs> is training. in order to... Need more training. You also mentioned that some of them are there because their husband sent them to be Yes, Why? Like, when they ask them, they find them. Some of them not even, as, as I said, some of them not able to have the money to pay back. So when you don't have the money to pay back, they will find you or say that go down for one year. Then when they go down for one year, or they find you one million. Two million people already do not have the money they decide to do for them have for punishment. So a lot of them seem to be in prison because they were unable to pay the fine. Yes. Like their crime yes. originally yes. they were just supposed to pay the fine. fine yes. And so if they paid the fine they wouldn't go to Yes, yes, And how long does one stay? With the, the court. Mm -hmm. Some of them they find they, they, they jail them for three years, two years, one year, six months, one year, okay. two months, three months. Like in the process, they jail them for two months, but you pay a fine of five hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm.